Introduction to Swing Components At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain Swing Components and Containers Introduction to Swing Components Hi friends, this is Carol. Hope you remember me. I have been sharing my experience with you on creating a registration form for my mini project in the past few lessons. We have learned about layout managers in the previous lesson. Hope you got a fair idea about that. As the next step in our learning process, I will let you know about Swing Components. To create any application, you need components which make the application work and a container that holds all the components. Swing GUI provides these two key items called components and containers. In today's lesson, I will explain about these two features. Come on, let's start. Components A component is an independent visual control such as a slider or a push button. Swing provides a large set of components with rich functionalities and high-level customization. These Swing components are derived from the class JComponent. JComponent supports pluggable look and feel. All these components are lightweight components. All of Swing's components are represented by classes defined within the main package JavaX.Swing. This package must be imported into any program that uses Swing. Packages that are defined by Swing are displayed on the screen. Some of the Swing component classes that are used to create a Swing GUI are displayed on the screen. Containers When you are creating an application, you need a container to hold all the required components. Container is a root for an application. All the other components are added to that root and it forms a hierarchy. It provides space where the components can be managed and displayed. These containers are of two types. They are top-level containers, lightweight containers. Top-level containers. These container classes inherit AWT components and containers. They cannot be contained in other containers. Unlike Swing's other components, they are heavyweight. The top level containers include JFrame, JDialog, JApplet, and JWindow. Lightweight containers. These containers inherit J components. These can be contained within another containers. And an example for a lightweight container is JPanel. Swing application. Now let us see how to use containers and components through a simple program. First, we import the main Java package for Swings using javax.swing.star. Then we create a class named Swing Demo and a constructor for the class. In the constructor, we create a new frame container using the class JFrame. JFrame class is a type of container which inherits the java.awt.frame class. It works like the main window where components like labels, buttons and text fields are added to create a GUI. And we also give the frame a size. By using the displayed code, we terminate the program when the user closes the application. As the next step, we add a label to the frame. JLabel is the swing component that creates a label which is a component that displays information. Label is swing's simplest component because it is passive. That is, a label does not respond to user input. It just displays output. Next. We add the required label in the content frame and display the frame by using the set visible function. Now in the main class, we create the frame on the event dispatching thread as displayed. The output of the given program is as displayed. In this, 
The frame is the container and the text displayed using J label inside the frame is an example for component. Conclusion Hope you have got a clear understanding of the swing components. I will explain how I used these components in my application in the coming lessons. Stay tuned. Summary Swing GUI provides two key items called components and containers. A component is an independent visual control such as a slider or a push button. Some of the Swing Components classes that are used to create a Swing GUI are displayed on the screen. A container is a root for an application. All the other components are added to that root and it forms a hierarchy. The containers are of two types. They are top-level containers, lightweight containers.